Hi folks, Ray David here, welcome to the Movie Reviewers 100 channel again. This week's theme is zombie films, and the film that uh, I was going to pick was the actual film that the gal picked, uh, which was the reimagining of Zombies Dawn of the Dead. So I thought I would speak about 28 Days Later, which technically isn't a zombie film as such, it's, a, it's more of a, a sort of virus film or whatever. Uh, so I'll, I'll speak about it a wee bit about it. It was directed by Danny Boyle. Had a great cast in it. It had uh, Cillian Murphy, Naomi Harris, Christopher Eccleston, and the fantastic Brendan Gleeson. And the basic story: it was a British film. It was British made. Uh, it's set in London, and there's been a, a, a an outbreak of a lethal virus which is transmitted through the blood. When people uh, are infected, they go absolutely sort of raven loony. You no, know, uh, they like sort of they just become like wild animals, and they come and they. they they want to attack people, and uh, they, as soon as they bite them, it gets a bit. The blood gets infected, and they become uh, uh, animals as well. They uh, thought, sorry, logic or whatever. No, you've just got to run from them and flee, flee for your lives. Uh, so the basic plot is: Silly and Murphy wakes up in a hospital, and he doesn't know. No, there's nobody about. He doesn't know what's happened. He seems to be in a coma. He goes outside and he doesn't see anybody at all in London. Absolutely, some fantastic shots eh, of, of London, no, just nobody here in the boot and stuff. And eh, eventually he comes across a couple of survivors. He meets this eh, this eh, this eh, woman, played by Naomi Harris, and she saves his life. And eh, he tries to get back to his family, but his family is all dead. Then they team up with eh, a father and daughter. Eh, so they also they become a sort of merry wee band. Uh, they fill up the the guy's taxi. Brendan Gleeson, he's a, he was a taxi driver, and they decide to go into the country to head up to Manchester, where uh, there's supposed to be an army outpost there. Uh, so they, they they go on their travels. You know they they take the taxi away up there and stuff. Uh, some things happen. You no, know, uh, Brendan Gleeson he becomes infected and uh, he, he goes absolutely mental. The voice they've got to kill him, and uh, they end up going up to the army place. Where they think that everything's safe. You no, know, they're in a sorry, uh, an old, a mansion where the, the all these army guys are uh, are in sort of control and that they've made a perimeter and there's, they've cleared off all the the infected people, so they're relatively safe. But they turns out they're pretty bad guys and that. You know, they're trying to make like a, a community, and uh, they like the woman. You no, know, they want the woman to uh, to actually uh, enhance their community. You know, have babies and stuff, and. Uh, Fights break out and, and whatever the the Cillian Murphy and Naomi Harris and the the young lassie, they're trying to get you uh, uh, from the army and also uh, protect themselves from the, the virus infected people, and there's a big finale at the end. But really good film. I would highly recommend it. Uh, it's in a similar vein of Dawn of the Dead, like, where you see the the infected people. They they run nose. They they, they call it the rage virus. And uh, they just got absolutely mental and stuff. But like I say, it's got a great cast, great director. Highly recommend it. Thanks for watching, and please uh, leave comments and subscribe.